Hey, this will give you a quick rundown on how to use the Circuit Builder HTML. It'll run on any uh, browser. Uh, first, I'll open my uh, folder. And I see here I've got the Circuit Builder Interactive HTML. I'll click on that. As typical, you'll usually have to come up here for the right type for a, uh, uh, to open this in a new window. Let's take a look at this. This takes you to a nice uh, website called the Physics Classroom. Uh, this is a little bit small to read here, so in the upper left-hand corner, you'll see a little uh, icon here. Go ahead and click on that, and it'll make it a full screen mode. Uh, there we go. Now, the circuit builder is pretty straightforward or pretty simple. There are just a couple of components that we can have. The battery is already listed there for you. Uh, when we click this uh, icon on the left here, it allows us to add wire, a resistor, a light bulb or a little meter that measures current. That'll come in handy for some of our uh, measurements. Let's go ahead and we'll add a wire to this. Oh, and a note, uh, the battery is already included in here. And say I want to have um, a piece of wire, click on there. I can add a wire to there. Say I want to put a resistor. Click on there, I've got a resistor, another piece of wire. Again, so now I want to add a little you know, a light here. Okay, good another um, light here. Then I'm going to put my uh, ammeter here. Ammeter just measures current and then back to our wire. Notice as soon as I complete the circuit you'll probably expect okay I start seeing current flowing through here. A okay. couple items you'll see now is that I have the voltage at each of these points. This must be a 9 volt battery. I still have 9 volts here at the uh, head of the resistor. It drops 3 volts to 6 volts as I go across the resistor here. Okay. Um, I'm still at 6 volts along that piece of wire. I drop another 3 volts from 6 to 3 volts across this light and I drop another 3 volts down to 0 volts uh, to get back to the battery. Notice the ammeter has uh, no voltage drop in it. In this case I can see I have 0.3 amps flowing through this. If I have equal voltage drops each of the resistance of these must be the same. Hey, so how can I vary the resistance or make a change to any of those items? And that's done here on that little slide, slide switch icon. I click on there. You can see right now I have a little hour, uh, let's see, spyglass on the battery. Over here it lists the voltage. I could increase that voltage. Let's say I want to make it a little bit uh, uh, higher. I've gone from, whoa, getting pretty bright there. I'm going to back this off just a little bit. See, I've increased this to 19 volts. Again, all of our voltage uh, changes around here. And as I expect, if I went higher in voltage, I have more current. The lights are a little bit brighter. Just to note, these, bright, these lights um, just indicate really how much current is going through. They're not a real good, um, let's say, predictor of how much power is in there. If I can change the voltage setting, I probably can change the value of other things. Let's go ahead and we'll move over here to the resistor. As soon as I click here, you'll see that little uh, spyglass change on there. And down here, I have the value of the resistor. Uh, you can probably guess what will happen if I increase the value of the resistance. Yeah, probably total current will go down because in a series circuit that what flows through one part will flow through all parts. If it's more, uh, more resistance, it'll be more difficult for current to flow. And you probably see the lights will get dimmer. Yep, they're getting dimmer. Okay. But something else we'll start seeing now with more resistance is our drop in voltage is not the same across each of the components. Across here and across here. Let's go ahead and we'll take that little spyglass. I'm going to move it over to here to this uh, light. Okay. I can see how the resistance in the light here. I'm going to reduce the lot uh, resistance in this light. We can see here, now let's just take a, a quick look. We'll go back over here just to kind of make things look a little cleaner. I see I have 19 volts, a big voltage drop. What am I dropping? 12.7 volts across here. Um, then I drop another, what, 4.2 volts uh, here. Okay, but I'm only dropping 2.1 volts across here. Remember, that's going to be something a function of the resistance in each of these items. Okay, so something else that we see is that even though the current is the same through this and this, and this has a greater voltage drop that would tell us this has more power. Um, the light in the simulation isn't any brighter or dimmer. Uh, next class or so, we'll have a little in-class demonstration. And you may have noticed this as part of your uh, uh, labs as well. Hey, one last feature I want to show you before I let you loose on this is uh, 
over here, I click on this uh, icon here, and I can get different uh, meters here if I want to measure the voltage in this uh, circuit. Let's say I want to measure it from uh, this point to this point. I can see I have the minus 2.1 volts that matches what we have here. Well, let's go ahead and reverse these leads, right? Okay, I have 2.1 volts. Okay, if I want to measure across some other points here, 6.3 volts, that agrees very well here. Let's say I want to go through a, uh, over a couple of these uh, components. There. The voltage drop from 19 uh, to uh, 2.1, we can see, is about 16.9 volts. Okay, this works exactly the same way as the meter you would have in class. There. Really not much of a reason to use the uh, amp meter because you can always use these little... Uh, in series uh, detectors as well. Yeah, I think that pretty much uh, does it. Let you uh, loose on this. Remember, you're also going to have to build a parallel circuit. And maybe just one last thing if you want to make an element disappear, come over here and I just right, let's see, oh, do I click on it again? Whoops, let me come over here. I'll come up to here. And I believe I just right click, yes, we'll make the uh, particular uh, component disappear. And there it goes. I can back those things off. Okay. Hey, good luck with your uh, simulation.